Okay. Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Teching, or more likely, welcome to ACTA. And um, we have the org meeting from 1st of April. Uh, we're going to go uh, over. We have a PL update from Stitch, and later on we have some other update from Teams who wants to say something about uh, their status. And then <coughs> we do it as a last time, but I heard it was a success for as a work meeting uh, together. And at some point we would like to order food. I mean, if someone wants food, I have a list here for a couple of people. Uh, seven. I see more, pe more people here, so if you would like to have some food, then please uh, come to me and I write it down. It's around 10 till 12 euro. And around 6 o'clock it has been food or 7 o'clock. And then, then you are free. So I give um, Stitch, you want to do the PL? Yes. All right, thanks for the introduction. Um, I'm happy to announce that we have found a sponsor that we've been looking for all the time. We're nearly sold out now. There's only a little under a thousand tickets left when we announced the sponsorship. There's one, like 100 tickets like gone. So 900 left. Uh, we're doing pretty well. Um, so, of course, we've all seen the headline, like 500,000 euros of sponsoring, and they will bring the uh, entire team of consultants. It's 2,500 people. That's very interesting. Um, and they assured me that it's going to be marketing consultants. So I think they fit perfectly in our crowd. So I would like to thank EvoCorp by a round of applause. Let's applaud for EvoCorp. So there's, there's going to be some uh, changes, I think improvements to the program. Um, uh, we have got uh, a few uh, uh, nice speakers, uh, thanks to the content team. Uh, for example, uh, a new Hollow device will be introduced by uh, Mr. Smith, and uh, how licensing is better than buying by Mr. Musk. And so we have uh, a few headliners that will are sure to attract uh, a lot of people that uh, are on the edge of new technology. Uh, there's also a lot of team updates, like tons and tons of team update, updates. And I'll just pick a few random ones. Uh, we'll rewrite the code of conduct based on 1950s stereotypes. Uh, the bar team will not sell beer. And um, let me look over this nice thing. Uh, there's so much, but I'm looking for a specific one. <laughs> yeah, the family village will hire Pennywise the dancing clown for the ent children's uh, entertainment. That's very good. <laughs> um, and also, uh, the safety team will remove the cameras in the toilets and showers. It took a while, but they're really going to remove them. It's terrible, I know. Um, and uh, the most important thing, I would like to give uh, some time for our sponsor. Uh, fun facts you didn't know about EvoCorp. Uh, EvoCorp is a uh, a fair and balanced partner in both stable and unstable regions. Thank you. <laughs> Everything you can uh, can read up on the website, on the Twitter, on the wiki has also been reskinned. Uh, thanks uh, uh, very much to the uh, people doing the website, especially Reality Gaps, for reskinning it. Uh, it's really awesome now. It, it looks really great. Um, or should I say that in the opposite way now? I don't know. <laughs> it's confusing. Um, so uh, a, a few short updates. Um, what, uh, what's been going on uh, at uh, Project Lighting. We have this nice, beautiful pad. You can always read up on it. It's uh, slash p slash sanity on the pad server. Uh, you can, uh, yeah, well, there's like for years and years of, of information on what, what's happening in mumble meetings and what's happening at, at the physical meeting of, of Project Lighting. If you want to join them, you're always welcome to. Please do. Um, so last time, um, a lot of work was put into uh, making sure that we have the correct amount of tents. A lot of tents have been ordered last uh, Friday. Um, like uh, like 30, right? Am I right, Attila? How many tents did we order? 20, 30 big ones? OK. Um, 
15 big tents of, of like 10 by 10 or something like that. that okay, the large one is 32 by 40 and the smallest is 10 by 10, so that's good. Five by five, okay. Um, there's an uh, update that we got a uh, offer from scouting to do uh, a big part of the security of the event. Um, and that uh, helps a lot. We had a problem finding uh, volunteers for the security team, at least enough volunteers. So we've uh, fixed that largely. Um, for the rest, uh, we still have to arrange our parking. We thought that maybe scouting would take that over, but uh, nope, we have to do that. So we have to arrange that about 35 trucks with big plates will come to the train and uh, have plates everywhere so we don't have to drag uh, 2,000 cars out of the mud. Um, yeah, I, I think that's that's basically in a, sh in a nutshell what we have done in, uh, in the past months. And there's a lot of work done by teams. Um, and, and that's just too much that uh, I, I don't understand anymore what's going on, so we split that up. Um, the food court is also a nice uh, nice thing to, no to mention. Um, uh, we have found somebody that's uh, willing to take up a large part of the food court, also a nerd by heart, and uh, it seems that we are going to have uh, like 10 or 20 food trucks with different uh, types of food from different organizations, so there's a lot of to choose uh, to choose from. So that's that, that makes me really happy. Um, yeah, well, that's basically it. Are, are there any questions you, you have regarding what we've done in the past month? Crickets and tumbleweed. Well, thanks. That's really uh, makes it really easy. <laughs> Uh, righty, um, there are a few teams that want to uh, share their status. Uh, who are they? I have here batch team, uh, rego regardless project update and sponsor request. Thank you. Um, so I'm not sure who's seen this before, but for a month now or something like that, um, we've had a new piece of hardware. This is pretty much what the final badge is going to look like. There's also some pretty lights there. Um, they're toned down a bit to not blind the audience. Um, this is a very nice board. There are... Exactly, yeah. You can blind the people you're talking to if you make them uh, too bright. Uh, anyways, um, it's a very nice piece of hardware. We're working on getting the last few bugs sorted and writing some basic software for it. Um, there's still a huge amount of work to do to get this into the hands of every visitor for SHA. Uh, we have a small list of possible sponsors to approach. Um, we've practically finished a format for a letter uh, inviting them to sponsor. Um, and for that, I'd like to request your help. Uh, basically, any company can sponsor. It doesn't matter. They don't have to sponsor a product that they make or anything. It's basically um, more or less a donation that we use to buy the parts and services that we need. We can provide the company with a nice invoice, uh, obviously, from SHA. So um, for the companies, it's, it's uh, well, practically really easy to uh, sponsor. So I'd like to invite anyone who um, knows of a company, who works at a company, uh, please um, send me an email or in some other way, contact me to let me know how to reach out to them and then uh, our team will take care of that. Oh, right, it's uh, kartoffel at sha2017.org. Um, any questions? Is there any memory in the Excuse me? Is there any Is there memory in the batch? Well, yes, there is. Uh, the batch is based around the ESP module with some flash memory. Mm -hmm. But basically, all of the details on the hardware are already on the wiki and our pad. So. Can it emulate the Game Boy? Can it emulate the Game Boy? It can if you write the software. <laughs> Alright, so if that's all, then uh, thank you very much. Well, I have to add that uh, no, not every company can sponsor. Not every company can sponsor. Uh, but there are a few that can, so 
and we curate that list. We already turned down a few sponsors, happily, and we will do that again in the future for certain companies. Uh, yes. All uh, right, so, um, yeah, EvoCorp is the only sponsor we have. <laughs> <laughs> so don't mess with them. Um, then there was an update, I believe, from Bookover. Well, hello. Since of a few months, the uh, Infodesk team has a sub-team that handles the communication. And we want to um, up our game with communication. That means I sent already a mail to the mailing list about this. We want to ha have tweets, have blog posts, but also want to start on the booklet and want to, to have on the wiki page a small uh, list about the facilities that are on SHA. Now, as of this week, I am in all IRC channels, but I can't filter out all the information, so I need your help. If any team that has a facility for visitors could write a small part of it on the wiki page about facilities, that would be great. Otherwise, visitors can't find it, and that would be a shame. <laughs> also, if there are a lot of teams approached us that they need some information on the booklet, we're going to start on a draft at the end of the month. So if you have a start of this, Please, please send it to us so we can start. It doesn't need to finish. If you need help, we help. But we need some information. We need a basis to start. Same about tweets. We want to place tweets. I see wonderful talks, uh, lines about people that are lost less than 140 uh, characters. So they would be f perfectly for Twitter. If you have something, contact me and it's going to be edited and on Twitter. And the more uh, finished it is, the er earlier it's going to be. Um, we want to have updates on projects, on teams, on anything that's interested for visitors on the web page in the form of blogs. Again, if you have something about it, it doesn't matter how f polished it is, come to me and we make something of it. If you have something finished, that would be awesome, because then it can go directly to the website. But even if it's not that polished, come to me. That would be, or the info team, of course, not me personally. Today I'm here, so if you want to start, come here. You're welcome. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, scary. Uh, then we have an update from Attila uh, about transparency of their finances. Uh, there's a nice announcement. We take a little bit, do a dance. We're using uh, VGA technology. V the latest video graphic array technology. <laughs> e Corp only uses this. I can geen uh, oh. moet dus echt even zoeken naar goede resolutie. I can geen 16 bij 9 aan. Oh, okay. Ja. So uh, uh, last meeting, uh, the, uh, there were a few requests uh, from the beginning. Can you uh, publish the uh, budget and uh, can you give explanation on uh, where the ticket price is co uh, comes from, where the money goes, uh, etc. Um, in uh, previous, that was always internally, um, uh, but well, since it's a community event, we uh, wanted to publish everything. Um, so that's what I've been working on until 4 a.m. this morning. Uh, because I well promised that it will be finished today. Uh, so you can see that on the public wiki, uh, the wiki page called budget. I gave an explanation um, and I posted the full budget. Um, it's a lot of information. Uh, so, uh, well, what I would suggest is uh, if you're interested in it, uh, read it carefully. Uh, if there are any questions, feel free to approach me. Um, uh, I'm also uh, now the uh, treasurer of IFCAT. Uh, so if needed, I can give you a additional explanation, uh, which I can add to the wiki as well if something is unclear. Um, 
Now, uh, for, uh, to give you some details, um, we started out the event organization um, uh, with what was left from OHM, uh, which was about 10,000 euros. Um, so that was much less than what OHM started with, uh, so we don't have a lot of cash flow. Um, that's one of the reasons why we're unable to uh, provide cheaper tickets like uh, the CCC organization does. Uh, because what they do is they say, okay, this is uh, a ticket that covers our cost, uh, which for, their, uh, for the CCC camp in 2015 was 240 euros. But they offered cheaper tickets uh, up until 180 euros. Um, uh, and they hope that that, uh, or they uh, hope that that will be covered by people who uh, bought more expensive tickets. Now the thing is, if um, a thousand people would buy a, a 180 euro ticket for, from us, then uh, well, we don't have the uh, cash flow for that to cover that. Um, the budget that I've posted here is based on 3,500 visitors. Uh, we've made uh, several calculations based on the number of visitors. Um, if uh, we have more than 3,500 visitors, uh, there's more budget available. Uh, most of the teams have provided budget uh, for higher numbers, so you can do additional things uh, that are not barely necessary. Um, so uh, the total amount uh, that we need to organize the event is 1.1 million euros. Um, so, uh, sorry? Basic yeah, that's for the basic event. So, um, to make clear that it's not pocket change or anything. Um, now, uh, to give some insight on the terrain, uh, uh, we're renting the terrain from the scouting, um, and that's 80,000 euros. That's uh, based on uh, th uh, the same number of visitors because that also includes the. Um, uh, the tourist tax that you have to pay per uh, person. So that even doesn't go to the scouting directly, but to the municipality. Um, we obviously have to rent tents, uh, uh, which is also a substantial amount. Um, I wa uh, was at the tent supplier yesterday. I hope that it will be uh, a bit less than this, but um, uh, we see what the quote says in the end. Uh, we need the Porto Cabin Complex. Um, it's still se uh, set to uh, 30,000 here, but unfortunately we have to make some changes. Uh, so uh, what we need is a smaller uh, Porto Cabin Complex for specific uh, things like the uh, logistics headquarters. Um, but that means that other teams will have to move into a tent that we've planned, uh, would have planned in a Porto Cabin Complex. So I've used this number here. Uh, if it changes, if I have more uh, details, then uh, I can update the wiki. Um, uh, sanitation, I'm sure that you guys all want to go to the toilet. Uh, so the scouting is arranging this. We're working together because uh, they have the scout in event, which is a month after uh, SHA. So they will rent toilets and such, and they will stay at the uh, event train for uh, one and a half month. So we can both use it. Um, the advantage is that you only have, or that you have less transport cost, uh, because transporting those things is most of the cost uh, when renting the, them. Now, as I said, it's quite a uh, long list. Uh, uh, so uh, power, for example, we all want to uh, uh, boot up our uh, equipment. Uh, that's about 55K uh, to rent all the generators. Uh, uh, um, and yeah, th that is something that has to be done. Um, well, we have to uh, uh, well uh, hire security uh, people. Um, it's still set to 27k here. Uh, luckily, the scouting is very good, and they uh, offered a quote that's much lower. Um, so we'll save a bit on that, but uh, I have to still update that in the budget. Um, the parking terrain, uh, let's explain that a bit uh, because we got the question why do uh, we have to pay 42 euros uh, for a parking ticket. So we're renting the um, uh, 
the terrain from the farmer across the uh, field uh, because there's simply not enough parking space for every uh, car on the terrain itself. Uh, now that uh, parking, uh, since it's in Zeevolde, uh, 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 it's uh, a clay um, and grass and everything. So as soon as it rains for a day, then uh, if you will be parking on a field like that, you won't be able to remove your car anymore. So Jeroen is uh, in contact with one of our suppliers, Van Schie, uh, to rent 2,000 uh, uh, plates, uh, uh, two, three bridges, four bridges, um, uh, fences, uh, they will uh, uh, put everything there. Uh, uh, again, we're working together with the scouting on this. So they uh, will stack it up uh, afterwards and roll it out again for the scouting. Um, so uh, it's quite some work and we're leaving that to them. But uh, that brings quite some cost, so that's where uh, the ticket price is ba uh, based on. Okay, so uh, uh, for the ones who didn't hear, um, the the amount of equipment it's about 14, 40 uh, trucks uh, worth of uh, all everything that has to come to the event. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, uh, we have uh, the volunteer catering, and um, at OHM, uh, the catering wasn't very successful. Uh, so, um, uh, what we've decided is to improve that and not save uh, money on that. That does m I mean it costs more. So, we will have two food uh, teams uh, 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 delivering us volunteers' food. Uh, first, that will be the EMF crew or uh, people from the EMF, um, but they can only uh, care for uh, so much food. So, um, uh, that will be up until I think the 2nd of August or 1st of August. And then the guys from Mecklenburger, who are also providing food at the CCC, uh, they will uh, take over and uh, provide food for the rest of the event. So, um, well, sorry? Um, then the TMF again. So uh, that's how we uh, 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 looked at that. Well, uh, we're giving volunteers t-shirts, so that costs money as well. Um, yeah, so, uh, well, uh, promotion material, um, what we did, f uh, if you haven't seen, uh, we sent a package of promotion material to pretty much every uh, hackerspace in the Benelux and in Germany. Uh, it contained posters, stickers, flyers, and uh, an invitation letter to come to SHA. Um, uh, doing all that costs money, uh, same as uh, going to uh, some events and being there. Um, well, then there are a lot, a lot of small costs. Uh, um, you can uh, look them up if you uh, are interested in that. Well, we um, we have the badge uh, uh, that uh, uh, has cost, uh, and that uh, well, partly uh, with sponsoring and partly uh, from uh, from us as the organization. Um, Elgar and Jeroen are working to get uh, There Is No Game on uh, the field as well. Uh, that was the game that was at the CCC Congress, which was quite popular. Um, and so that will be uh, here as well. Um, now, uh, uh, the total of 1.1 million, how do we get to that? And um, uh, how did we come to the ticket price? So, um, uh, we didn't want to make the ticket uh, price too high, so uh, we have limited uh, sponsoring capabilities, or, or at least in cash. Um, we do have a few uh, uh, sponsors. Um, uh, uh, I can get more in detail about that later. Uh, one of them uh, uh, won't be pu uh, publicly, but I can tell you that uh, uh, afterwards. Uh, but for example, uh, uh, an Elnet Foundation who has funded uh, since what the heck, or I even believe uh, hackers at large already, they founded, uh, funded every event, so they are contributing. Um, now the ticket sales itself, uh, uh, we expect to uh, get around uh, uh, 720,000 euros. Um, and that's based on the fact that you also have to pay VAT. So uh, not even the full 250 euros goes to uh, the organization. 
Uh, we hope to get some back from that, of course. Uh, we expect to have some income from the bar as well. Um, we've uh, estimated that uh, an average person would spend about 20 euros over the entire event uh, uh, on drinks and such. Uh, so that will be uh, some income. Uh, some uh, something left from merchandise. Uh, while we haven't uh, even have a design ready, uh, there are quite some uh, t-shirts and hoodies already sold. So uh, we like that. Thank you for the for that. Um, we got a uh, funding from uh, the Stimuleringsfonds. Um, that's for uh, supporting the creative industry, that's for the content team, uh, so that they can uh, have limited capability of flying over some uh, special speakers or uh, funding them in uh, another way. And uh, that's specific for that uh, purpose and we have to keep track of that and we have to report back, etc. So that's... Uh, um, now, and if we add this all up, uh, we expect that we uh, come around 916,000 euros. Um, since we added also a fail-safe uh, for an expected cost, uh, this would be allow us to run the event. Um, and uh, if everything works out as expected like this, we uh, are left with uh, 12,000 euros. And, um, well, what will happen with that? That will stay on the bank account. We have to pay some infrastructure from that. And uh, that will be uh, the startup for the next, uh, uh, the next event. And uh, that's, uh, that's about it. If you have any questions about that, uh, feel free to uh, uh, approach me. I'll be here the rest of the day. And, uh, yeah, thanks. Thank you, thank you Attila, and for everyone. Uh, question about any other teams, would you like to present something that was not in the list? Hands up, then come forward. Hi, I'm uh, from the content team. And uh, just to give you an update, we have um, about uh, 300 submissions and uh, huh? Three, uh, uh, around 300. And we have to now, we have accepted uh, around 50. And uh, uh, we have also, uh, in the beginning, we didn't uh, uh, expect to do workshops, workshops ourselves to schedule that. But uh, there are many workshops. And we have now two tents to, to um, uh, schedule the workshops in. Uh, but uh, we really would like to, have in, to get in contact with people from villages because the idea is actually to don't refuse. Hello. <laughs> but uh, and now, so people from villages, please uh, contact us because we would like to. Uh, get some of the, the workshops and, and lectures and see if can be hosted at your village. And something more? My no, that's uh, that's about it. Just a quick update. So. Uh, you said you accepted about 50 Yes. Uh, Actually, we uh, uh, the question is like how much we plan to accept uh, total. Uh, our intention is actually to accept uh, everything that's possible. That's why we would like to have uh, the village uh, join us. Because we have three tents, we can schedule uh, the lectures. And we have two tents to schedule the workshops. So if uh, the village come forward, we can have more places for lectures or workshops. Yeah, it's three uh, tents. One is, I, I think, it's 1,000 people. The other 500, the other... How many are we going to full, full, uh, full schedule it? How many? How many? Uh, we don't, uh, don't remember. Don't, don't, don't know it by heart. I can send you, uh, add to the wiki button. 
So any questions? No? So that's it. Thank you. All right. Uh, is there anyone else that wants to present something? All right. Uh, then I would like to give a short update on the update on the wiki. Um, uh, is the laptop still here around somewhere? Laptop. <laughs> ah, thanks. Awesome. Oh, there is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> so, since that was a question, uh, like, how can you do things in villages uh, with, with sessions? <laughs> Whoa. So we have this uh, beautiful wiki, also with eCorp Design. Um, and uh, for I think that's interesting for both content and villages. Um, there's a few things uh, people can do with the wiki. And one of them is to plan self-organized sessions. So uh, let's first go to villages. Uh, you can just, re just register your village uh, somewhere on this page. There's this like green plus. And you Click it and you can start uh, registering your village. Every village will have their own like SHA flag. So if we pick out a village, you'll see that this SHA flag is uh, generated uh, based on the name that is entered. And also the background of the website would usually be this in, in this SHA flag. But today is a special day where we honor our corporate overlords. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's also uh, a few other things that you can do with the wiki, and that is, uh, for example, planning self-organized sessions. And uh, currently there are no uh, facilities or locations where you can plan them. So it's really ad hoc. And there's no sessions being planned yet, but you can just start here, like I want to have a, uh, a session myself, like... Uh, So my Worship the Corporate Gods uh, session. And you can uh, fill in all kinds of tags with it and, and see, uh, select that uh, if it's a kid session. This is basically stolen from the, uh, the, the CCC Congress wiki and the EMF wiki and what we did at home and merged it all together into one. And uh, it's, it's amazing that it's actually possible in MediaWiki. Uh, <laughs> So you can give a short description and a website and uh, uh, so give it some keywords, uh, what language is it in, and you can then add time slots. And if you do that, uh, if you add some time slots, then they will, oh, sorry, they will appear on a calendar. And here you can see the calendar for one day. And Basically, you can uh, just plan when you want it, and uh, on a wider screen, you would see all the days next to each other, and that, uh, that's a little bit easier to work with. Um, so basically, that is possible uh, with the wiki now. Um, villages, there's a new uh, thing. There's one thing that we are still working on, and that is that villages can uh, pin themselves on the map, so if you look at the main page of this wiki, you can see this map, the open street maps, and you see that there's one test village of, of, of me. And uh, that's basically because if you would want to pick a location now, there's this huge red disclaimer that says, if you pick a location, you will be moved, probably, because this map does not currently show where the fire lanes are, where the infrastructure is, and etc. cetera. So, uh, uh, sorry? Uh, the, the, the question is, if the trees stay where they are, they might. <laughs> okay, the remark in the audience was that the, uh, that the trees, while there are trees 
disappearing and some others were planted, uh, we, we think in general that they will stay the way they are right, right now. Um, and otherwise it would be very interesting to see that. Um, yeah, that's basically it for the, for the wiki. Um, then there's, uh, there's nobody, is there anyone else that wants to have a time slot for presenting something? No? Okay. Then we can, oh yeah, yeah, one, come over. The question is, is the, if there is a change uh, regarding the status of campers and caravans. Um, Attila is sitting over there. Uh, but yeah, uh, in, in general, there are a, a number of camper tickets in the, in the shop currently. Uh, those are for campers. Do they, they don't go for caravans, do they? Yes, they do. Okay, they do. Okay, but those are limited and they're sold... Uh, out yeah, nearly instantly. So, uh, and there's uh, somebody that has been kind enough to buy ten of them, and uh, this person will probably re return some of them. Uh. <laughs> so, well, that's it. Uh, then, this. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Thomas Covenant and I have a very short thing to say uh, on ISC and earlier people asked about the government discussion we had uh, time ago. So now it's uh, summed up, uh, you can see it on the wiki, if you go to the OGA wiki, or should I say OHA wiki, and um, next SHA meeting and just click from there. And that's pretty much it, you can read through what has been said. And finally, um, team ticket and entrance is represented today by one person, since our other members are in Germany and survival. And a high book environment, <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, if you want to talk to team ticket, this is your chance. Have an awesome day, everyone. Hi, Michael. Hey, hey um, the board said uh, that they were drawing any conclusions of the government uh, discussion. Where is this? Has it been made some uh, conclusions? Um, the only thing I was asked to do is to make a summary and that's... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, we have to draw conclusions from the government discussion, which is a valid point, Michael. Yes, uh, now we have the summary and we can decide how to proceed with that. Any other questions, comments, suggestions? No? To a bit uh, connected, thanks for uh, Thomas Covenant for uh, proceeding the, the, the slides uh, because it was a bit, uh, uh, my pictures was a bit blurry sometimes. But this is in a wiki, so if you actually recognize your own handwriting, then please help because uh, I think we didn't uh, manage to do all the Dutch uh, part to translate. Also, in the video, uh, McFly uh, drew a conclusion at the end, a summary what we see or what actually Pia saw uh, in, the, in the papers. And uh, now uh, uh, Thomas did um, the, the summary. So the data is available. If someone who is understands how data works in this way or proceed data, then it would be also welcome to uh, go further. And if you would like to have uh, further discussion about it, then please contact with me because we would like to have your feedback not just on this, but uh, with the rest of uh, the event and how we do things. So contact with PL or contact with me or with uh, um, if, the, if you have a team what you want to join or contact, so please do that. And any other team who would like to have give uh, an update? Now, here we go. Okay, really short. Uh, I'd like to talk some trash, uh, <laughs> since that's my team. Um, uh, uh, I need from uh, Team Bar or other teams that are uh, somewhat waste producing 
to talk to me today because I need to finalize an invoice and get stuff done so we can all throw our stuff in bins uh, at the event. So please talk to me. Yeah, bar, food court, uh, maybe someone who manages the big tents, anything. Okay, that's new. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Thank you for an update. Stitch, you want to say something extra? Okay. I'm like bouncing up and down with these beautiful stickers. Somebody last time said, can we please have name stickers so we can associate a nickname with a face? So we are de-anonymizing ourselves today with these beautiful non-corporate <laughs> stickers. Uh, and I've got some markers. They actually work. I, I, wear, I wear some today. It says this, uh, hello, I am Stitch uh, in uh, Arabic. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm still Stitch anyway. There's a lot of examples on the box right over there. There's also markers. If you would please uh, wear these overly corporate things once, then we hope we can remember for next time. And that uh, makes things easier to get a name to a face. Thanks. So thank you. And anyone else? Looking around, no? Okay. So the next part of the program is to actually work together. So if you have people who you want to talk to, then you can uh, uh, look around and talk to uh, the different team or talk to with your team, stuff like this. Uh, for the newcomers, at some point we would like to order food, which will be Indian. I have only seven people in the list. I see a bit more than seven people here. If you would like to have that, then please come to me and I write you down. It's between 10 and 12 euro. If you like to have some drinks or uh, go around or beer. <laughs> Okay, so uh, someone just mentioned that it's some lunch like bread and things uh, upstairs in the teching. Okay, so it's somewhere else uh, will be fine. And but if you would like to drink something, you can go up to teching here, and uh, in the fridge is mate and cola and stuff like that. And it's uh, donation based. It's a really nice uh, red uh, bowl where you can put money in. Um, that's about it. And uh, yeah, if you want food, then come to me. And yeah, also if you have some feedback or saying or anything, then you can find us uh, here today or reach us as a mailing or yeah. Okay, thank you and have a nice day for everyone.